What up, y'all? Boy Brick Street Sprite in the building, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision. Want to talk about a couple things, man. One being the Ransom album, man. And I basically just wanted to say, if you haven't listened to the new Ransom shit, um, it's a, it's a king something. It just came out six days ago. You know what I'm saying? But it's fire. The new Ransom shit is crazy, bruh. Like crazy. I'm talking about, I was going to get on here and tell y'all what my favorite tracks was and what I thought was fire, but ain't no sense in doing that when the whole shit is fire. And I also wanted to say, this is the type of album that I like because it's short and sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's 10 tracks, like Illmatic or something. And I'm not comparing it to Nas or nothing like that. But he's on that level of rhyming, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not far off. Like, this shit is fire, dog. Like, and I think that... Hold on, y'all. My bad. Let me get my lighting tight. But, um... I think that that's like the smarter the smarter approach these days rather than being uh rather than putting out like a really fucking like a really uh, long album with 20 tracks on it or whatever because of the microwave society that we live in now people don't have that kind of an attention span you know what i mean so i think it's smarter to come with something more short and sweet so that people can digest it faster and more properly because a lot of people feel like they don't have the time to put on a double disc album. And remember when they used to make double disc albums, dog? Like, when's the last time you seen one of those? A double disc. Even though I do have some classics on my list that are double discs, such as um, Wu Tang Forever, um, All Eyes on Me, Are You Still Down? You know, there are classic double disc albums, but. It's kind of uh, defeating the purpose when you do that these days because people don't give that much attention to shit. You know what I mean? So, I just wanted to say that Ransom album is a fucking instant classic. And if you haven't heard it, then you should probably check it out if you're a hip-hop head and you love that top-notch lyricism and top-level lyricism. Because he is... He is knocking everything out the park right now. You know what I mean? Everything that this dude does and touches is turning into hip hop gold. So I just wanted to give that album like a nine out of 10, maybe even 10 out of 10. I, I've only listened to it twice. It's fire, fire. Just listen to the whole fucking thing. I just wanted to say that before I get into anything, but I also wanted to talk about Danny Myers' Bill Collector, the one rounder. I wrote down some bars. And as far as like a recap, this was a very close one rounder, man. Um, fire, they both they both was 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 very well prepared and going in on each other. Like this was, they both obviously are two of the top notch top notch battlers in this game. You know what I mean? And premier battlers, and they both know how to write fire material and deliver fire material the way that they wanted to deliver it and write it. Bill Collector has so much onstage performance and bravado and the rebuttal of, they both have the rebuttal ability. They both have the freestyle ability. Um, I think Bill Collector uses more comedy than Danny does, but they both can get on some like, you know, a little bit of street shit too, you know what I'm saying? And they both have a lot of elements in their in their repertoire. They're both far from like a one trick pony. They both have a bunch of fucking weapons that they can pull out of their arsenal and repertoire. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that this was so close it just wanted it just made me want a three round battle. You know what I'm saying? Like this just made me really really want them to come back and do an entire battle, you know what I'm saying? Because the one rounder should now just be used as promotion to build up a storyline around an actual three round battle. Because of how fire this one rounder was, I was very impressed, man, by both of them. It was uh, it was dope, man, just dope. If I was to actually edge anyone, I would probably actually edge Bill Collector. But I gotta watch it again, cause it was mad close. Danny was snapping, bro. So I might have to edge it to Danny, like, just because Bill Collector left me with the last shit that I heard. 
You know what I mean? And he had that, like, it was neck and neck. And I feel like Bill Collector had maybe a couple more bars at the end that may have edged him. But if they were to battle in a third round, in a three round battle, then who knows who could win? This would be neck and neck. Both these dudes are two of the nicest, man. And I, I just thought it was hella entertaining. It's hard to really call a winner. I just want them to battle three uh, in a three round battle. I want a three. I want three rounds out of these dudes. But um, I'm just on here because I want to tell people to watch it because it's entertaining as fuck. You know what I mean? And I wrote down some bars, man. Um, Danny started with Dear Battle Rappers. This the dude they give you when you choke on gnome. Mm. You were selling shoes out the trunk of your car. You lost faith in your rapping skills. You were subconsciously telling yourself that punch fucked with your soul and you had to heal. Soul heal, shoes, selling shoes out the back of your car, fire. Jump from league to league, team to team, you a battle rap prostitute. Mm. I drag you from the back of the truck, I go to extra mile. Drag you from the back of the truck, I go to extra mile. You'll see a sub come out the window who stopped at the food van. You dig? Food truck, food van. You'll see a sub come out the window or a submarine sandwich. See a sub come out the window who stopped at the food van. Fire. Fire, Danny. You know what I mean? Only thing I made crack, he was talking about Bill Collector being all comedic and shit. Only thing I made crack up was the rock when it locked in solid form. You know what I mean? Only thing I made crack up was the rock when it locked into solid form. Fire. When you see me raise hands in front of a collector, I'm trying to auction something. Bang, bang. I don't normally cut people off, but I... Yeah, I know I don't normally cut people off, but I interrupt. I interrupt, but I interrupt. I don't normally cut people off, but I interrupt. I interrupt, I interrupt to play on words. You know what I'm saying? Fire. I send a sniper to sniff him out. Wired money to make sure you split his scalp. He called me and said I ain't send him I ain't send his picture. How I'm supposed to get him now? I said it's the duel with the afro. Then he picked him out. Fire, man. I send a sniper to sniff him out. I wired him money. Said, make sure you split his scalp. He called me and said, I ain't got no picture. How am I supposed to sniff him out? I said, it's the dude with the afro. And then he picked him out. Afro, pick him out. Fire. Two bald heads. Give him a million dollars worth of game from a bar stool. The whole wallow and fucking, and fucking, uh, you know, Gilly, Flip, you know what I mean? Fire, fire, man. Danny was snapping, dog. Danny was definitely top notch snapping. He said, my guy couldn't get bond after a murder. We call it a Nobel Peace Prize. A Nobel Peace Prize, Nobel Peace Prize, a Nobel Peace Prize. Man, that's, I thought that was fire. Very creative, man. Danny was snapping. Snapping top, I go for like I said, both these dudes top notch, man. Lyricists, you know what I mean? Then Billiano, man. The tool compress. I move so low, they say, dude, depressed. Solo or so low, like depressed. They say, dude, depressed. Fired from being the dean of the academy. All the way to the garden where I'm the landscaper. Being the dean of the academy all the way to the garden, the gates of the garden, where I'm the landscaper. Fire. Fire, man. I thought that was that was fire. Yo, he said he would have got on stage and had trouble with Reed like Fantasia. <laughs> Each shot weigh a QP will make you back out. QP, back out. 
how QP always no shows and backs out of battles and shit, which I hate, man. That's QP is like one of my favorite battlers, man, of all time. And when he he just showed you against Reed when he's focused and motivated and not just sipping lean when he's supposed to be fucking, you know, getting prepared when he's supposed to be prepping and uh, and preparing that he's still a fucking beast. You know what I mean? He still be going hard body and could still get in that bag. That's why it pisses me off even more that he does it more often. You know what I'm saying? But, all right. Them bars better spree well, don't choke with me. Biliano was snapping in this shit, dog. Like, for real snapping. I'm better at making... I'm better at making men look bad on camera than Tyler Perry. Like, dog, that's pretty bad. That's pretty fucking bad. As soon as this bitch empty, the baby appear from thin air like the Virgin Mary. Come on, man. Like, fire. He said, I hope you don't have no surprise kids pop up. They don't need to see... They don't need to... I hope you don't have no surprise. I hope you don't have no surprise. What he said? I hope you don't have no surprise kids pop up. They don't need to witness the body. If Bill has to chop sticks in front of Daniel's son, I'm Mr. Miyagi. Like, come on, dog. In front of Daniel's son, Daniel's son, if Bill has to chop sticks in front of Daniel's son, then I'm Mr. Miyagi. Come on, son. Fire. That boy Bill was fucking snapping in this bitch. The whole time we were celebrating your wife's recovery, we were watching you OD on smack. <laughs> OD on smack? Cause he uh cause he uh everybody says he battles too much, you know what I mean? So he ODing on smack on URL. Fire. I'm stealing dance moves like Sonny and you got served. Dance, dance moves, dance. I'm stealing dance moves. I'm stealing dance moves like Sonny and you got served. Thought that was fire. Bill always has super creative bars. They both do, are mad creative with their bars. This is two of the most original dudes in the game that have mad different fucking, uh, mad different, like I said, weapons in their arsenal and artillery that they can pull out and use on you, dog. Like, straight up, pause. But, anyway. I just think that shit's fire, man. Both of these dudes, dog. Both of these dudes showed out. And that was Danny's first performance after that choke at Gnome. And after that debacle. Like, his really first, first performance. I know Jay the Nightwing was his next URL performance. But this shit was fire, man. This shit was a nice bounce back for Danny. One rounder was also... Uh, I just, I fuck with both of these dudes, man. And they both, they both did not, they both, they both did not disappoint, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And uh, I th actually thought it was a three round battle at first when I turned it on. I wasn't, I was surprised when it was only one round, but whatever, it is what it is, man. It was still very entertaining. Anybody that hasn't seen it, go check it out. Otherwise, let me know what y'all thought of this battle. I also wanted to say one more thing. I wanted to talk about like the difference between a great battle rapper and a great writer because there's a big difference and people get these things misconstrued and I was going to use Ace I mean as a as a example because I think Ace I mean is not a good battle rapper. I think he's a pretty trash battle rapper, but he's a phenomenal writer. You know what I'm saying? He's a very good writer. He always has good material. I'm not taking away from his material. He has fire material, but he has trouble. There's more components that go into being a great battle rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm trying to say is, you can write as much fire material as you want, but if you can't deliver it properly, then you'll never be a great battle rapper. And that's why I think he should more or less just be writing for motherfuckers because he has a hard time getting through one round. I would tell him to do one rounders, but he has a hard time getting through one round without stumbling bad. You know what I mean? Without stumbling or choking. The only clean battle that I know from him at all 
is the John John battle. Now it's his biggest, most important battle. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe he just needs to battle nothing but like have nothing but really important battles. You know what I mean? Against heavyweight motherfuckers that could possibly destroy him if he doesn't come correct. You know what I mean? Maybe that's the extra drive that he needs. You know what I'm saying? But he doesn't come consistent as far as delivering the material, performing and delivering the material that he writes and delivering it the way he wanted to when he wrote it and prepared it. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I say he's not a great battle rapper. He's just a good writer, a great writer. He's a phenomenal writer. He writes fire material, but I can't call you a good battle rapper until you can consistently get through your material. You have a hard time getting, he has a hard time getting through one round. He, he rarely has a clean round. You know what I'm saying? He's at least stumbling in all of his shit. Through that whole Cortez battle, he was stumbling. You know what I'm saying? I don't, whoever you want to give the battle to, it is what it is, but like how much, how much leeway are we going to give motherfuckers for stumbling all the time? Like, and he still keeps on getting pushed in front of us, pushed in front of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog, back in the day, if you stumble and choke that much, we would never see you. You would be where Rich Dollars is at right now. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You would not be seen. It definitely wouldn't be getting pushed consistently and constantly. I don't like Next. I think he's he's shitty. He writes shitty material. But at least he doesn't choke and stumble all the time. He gets through his material. Now, it's ra it's not super intricate material. So I think Ace Amin's material is a little harder to get through because... He's more intricate and his patterns are more, he's more of like a upbeat fucking and more intricate patterns. You know what I'm saying? Like more syllables and shit. But still, if that's how you're going to write, then you have to know that's how you have to perform it and you better be good at it. Otherwise, take a few words out. You know what I mean? Don't use quite so many syllables if you need to get it out or having a hard time delivering it. You get what I'm saying? So... I think until Ace Amin figures that shit out or any other battle rapper that chokes and stumbles all the time, then they can't be a great battle rapper. You can't even be a good battle rapper, but you can still be a great writer. Ace Amin should just write for next. You know what I mean? You have the right, then, then next would have fire material. Then they'd have a reason to really push him. You know what I mean? But I don't know. That's just my feelings, man. I'm not so lenient as far as the stumbling and the choking. That's why I gave Cortez that battle. Because the first two rounds, he was flawless as far as his delivery and performance. And there wasn't that much of a difference in the bars and the quality of the bars. It wasn't like Ace's shit was a billion times better or anything. It was pretty close. So I gave it to the cleaner of the two. You know what I mean? Because Ace was still, even if you wanted to give him that second round, which his material was fire. Probably the most fire of the battle as far as material. But he was still stumbling. You know what I mean? He still stumbled three, four times in that round. Where he had to, you know, bro, just rewatch it if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, he stumbles all the time. And, like, you can't be a great battle rapper until you cut that shit out. The greats don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Don't stumble in every battle or choke all the time. The greats, Hollow to Don, A Verb, even Lux. Like, Lux has the one instance, you know what I mean? Against Calico. But other than that, he's consistent. Mook never chokes. Can rap 20 minute rounds and not even stumble. Hollow never stumbles, never chokes, dog. A Verb never chokes, you know what I mean? Like, bro, JC never chokes. You might could find one, you know what I mean? One stumble, one. They never stumble, never choke. The best of the best don't. Geechee Gotti, bro, never. So that's just my my opinion on the matter and how I see it. I think we should be we should be harder on motherfuckers as far as choking and all that shit. Like, bro, because like, like I said, back in the day, you wouldn't even get a call back for a minute. We probably wouldn't even see you again, dog, if you choking left and right and shit. But either way, let me know what y'all thought about this shit, man. I thought it was fire. Let me know what you think about all this shit I was talking about. Check that Ransom album out, because that shit is fuego. And it's your boy, Brick Street Sprite. Like, subscribe, comment. Brick Street Hooligans, Brick Street Media, Hooli Vision, and I'm out of here, dog. 100.